Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. Um, we focus on Debian on this channel and for the last five or six videos um, starting about, I don't know, a month ago, we've been really deep diving into uh, using Debian testing and doing um, XFCE installation using a bash script and we're also you know, doing some customizing and make you know making your um, XFCE experience a little bit more modern looking. So today we're going to do three things, and one is we're going to install Micro. So I'm going to do that right now. But first, like with anything Debian testing, uh, bookworm, we're going to do an update. And for me, I don't need, have anything to do. If you want to, um, it's up to you, but you can um, do a dist upgrade if you choose to do so. sudo apt dist upgrade. Um, not if you, if you don't want to and your machine is working perfectly, you know, you don't have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen and I'm going to install um, sudo apt install micro okay so if you like I said if you are a um, a Vim user this is not something that you probably are interested in if you're a nano user give it a shot micro is really good so it's kind of like that in between between in between micro uh, in between nano rather and Vim so what I want to do is I want to show the um, micro into the bash rc file okay and when i look at this because i use the ls command a lot you know this is the the basic ls command okay so when i i'm going to control q to quit when i type in ls it's just going to show the directories it's not going to show hidden files I, in order to show hidden files, I'm, I'm going to say dash lah, you know, and not only does it show hidden files, but it also shows hidden directories. EXA, which I'm showing the, their website over here, is fantastic when it comes to how to display your um, file structure um, on command line. Now, short of using Ranger or something like that, um, I just I, I really have always installed EXA and in fact I did a, um, a really minor um, demonstration of EXA on one of the videos I think it was the one where I installed um, i3 gaps on Debian so if you want you can go back and look at that but I'm gonna do a deep dive kind of right now so in order to start this, I'm going to say sudo apt install exa. Okay, so clear. And now we're going to micro into bash rc again. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to find that ls command, which is right here. And we're going to replace everything in between these two single quotes. So I'm going to delete that and just say exa dash al. Okay. Now, the only other thing I want to do is I want to type dot dash dash because of grouping directories. Okay. By the way, this dash a is for hidden, you know, this is the, the hidden files, L would be long view, okay? So in order to get the, uh, the directories first, I want to say dash dash group hyphen directories hyphen first. And I'm going to control S for save and control Q to quit, okay? And I'm actually going to type bash so that I don't have to like reopen. Um, let, let me just do this real quick. So when I do ls, you see what the old bash did. And now when I type bash and I type ls, notice how different it is. 
okay? The only other thing that um, I want, well, two other things that I want to do, okay? I want to show headers, you know, uh, like a long view. So I want to show headers, and I want to show you one other thing when it comes to, um, let me go ahead and clear and just type ls again. Notice there's nothing as far as headers yet, but I want to go into um, bash rc again. So micro bash rc. And let's go ahead and I want to, where, I, always, I always do this. I can't see for anything. So right here, headers, header, I should say. Okay, and let's go ahead and control S and control Q. Okay, and now let's clear this screen and type bash. And when I tap LS, you see the headers here, permissions, size, user, date, and name. That wasn't there before, it's, it's th but it's there now. I want to show you one other thing. So you can kind of customize this. If you want to, I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can kind of look and see what the um, the different uh, parameters would be and how to and how to use EXA. So let's do this again, and because I'm going to add one more thing that way I like it and 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 give you the opportunity to um, to modify it the way you want. And we're going to add one more parameter, and that is icon. Icons, I should say, plural. And then we're going to control S, control Q, and bash. And let's go ahead and clear the screen, and LS. And notice now. You've got these icons now, and not you know not everybody would like this. I mean, I kind of like it because I think it's cool, um, but you don't have to have it like this. By the way, if you are using like um, there's a way to do. Let me go see if I can find it real quick. Um, grid view, I think that might be it. Tree view, no tree view. Yeah, tree view is something that you might want to do. Uh, in a certain way, but it's going to basically uh, take off your, it might take off headers, but I'm not sure. It definitely, it's gonna take the long, the long out. Um, that parameter is useless if you add a tree. And plus, if you've got a lot of nested uh, directories here, it's gonna take a really long time in order for it to load. So that's not something I wanna, I would wanna do like commonly but it is kind of cool so what we want to do all next is we want to talk about getting the fastest mirrors okay so if I go to cat well, cat Etsy apt sources list okay let me actually you know what um, the only thing and this is terrible I have to make this bigger so that it shows the only thing that's not commented on mine right now is this line and it's going to the Atlanta mirrors okay so what we want to do is go ahead and we're going to a sudo apt install net select dash apt okay now, wherever uh, you are on in your structure, so like PWD, I'm in my home Drew directory. So basically the home user directory. If I go to, let's go to documents, okay? And so when I run this, it's gonna be, and I'm gonna actually remove this, so. Okay, and so what I want to do all is clear this screen, and I'm going to run the net select. So, but I want to show you real quick. So I'm going to go back to this and Control L, and 
I want to show you this page. This is the man page for NetSelect. Okay. So this is something that you might want to uh, take a take a peek at. Um, there are examples of how to run this command. Um, and in fact, if you don't want to go to this particular page, you can just go man uh, net select apt, and it's going to show the exact same file. Okay, so let's quit. And oops, sorry. And so what I would like to do is run this command. Um, you have to run it in sudo uh, net select dash apt. Now here's where we want to start looking at some of these uh, parameters. We're running testing, okay? And we want to make sure Oh, hold on one second. Um, there we go. Uh, we want to make sure that we are running the right, um, you know, whether it be stable or testing. So we're going to do bookworm here, bookworm, okay? And dash A is basically the, you know, which package. So, and in this case, AMD, 64. So there's others that you want to take a look at, but um, you know we don't need to. Uh, we are already using the non-free, so dash n, and we want to add um, how many hosts that we want to take a take a look at. So let's look at 10. And in the country for us. For me, rather, is the US. Okay, so let's run that. Now, you can put FTP here. Notice um, the 10 fastest mirrors show up here. Okay, but we want to take a look at this a little bit more closely. Okay. So I'm going to open up my mouse pad and open this so we can take a really, you know, much more uh, close look at this. So here's the sources list. And um, notice that it did everything that we needed it to do. It showed the right mirror, which is the Atlanta mirror. It put bookworm in, main contrib non-free. All of that is the way it should be now if you, I again I don't need sources because I have no desire to to do an apt get I'm uh, I'm an end user and I don't need to uh, to use the apt get source on anything now if that's something that you do need then by all means give it a shot I just I just don't I just don't need it as far as Debian security okay notice that it's not um, it's commented out, okay? We're going to give this a shot, but I want to go ahead and copy this, okay, just in case. So if you're using micro, let's, let's add this uh, to the sources list, okay? okay I'm going I'm to control, I'm going to copy this, all right? And then I'm going to sudo... Um, micro etsy at apt sources list and there it is you know and we're going to i don't have to but if i wanted to i can just go ahead here hit enter and hit paste or control v and it would be the same you know the same for you if you're using micro you can do this control um, this control v for paste and there you go. It's almost exactly the same. You know, um, the only difference is I have testing here and we're going to, and, and bookworm was in the uh, net select. So what I want to do, go ahead, is make sure that 
the one that we did, the one that we just ran, um, is is good. So I'm going to Control S, Control Q, and now when I do a sudo apt update, okay. It did everything. I mean, it, it, I just wanted to make sure it did everything it said it was going to do. It, you know, it used bookworm instead of testing. It did a little bit slower than I thought it was going to do, frankly. You know, but I think maybe that was just um, because of the first time. So if I did it again, I wonder if it's going to be quicker. Yeah, okay. Um, now, as far as security is concerned, I've noticed um, that you can add a security uh, feature or, or, or line item to your testing sources list. And we're going to try that right now. I don't know if it's going to fail or not, but I just want to see if it, if it works. So I'm going to do the same thing. I, and I probably what it should do is this. I'm going to sudo cp the Etsy apt oop, sources list to the Etsy apt sources list dot BAK just so that we have a backup. Okay. So let's go and we're going to up arrow until we get to um, our sources list again. And we're going to add one line here. Okay, and the line is going to be um, basically it's going to it's going to just be about security. So deb http. I've seen other people use this, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. But let's let's give it a shot. Security. Debian.org slash Debian security. And then let's go bookworm security. And main non free contrib like we did before. Okay. And let's give this a shot, just to see. I'm, I'm curious. Control S, Control Q, and let's do the update again. And did it do it? Get Yes, it did. It found it, at least. I mean, there was nothing to uh, add, which is surprising. Uh, I'm, again, I thought everything was kind of like built into bookworm um, you know, in the testing. I didn't know that we need this security. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in and I'll, you know, if it, if it does anything in the future, then, um, then I'll let you know, uh, you know, on the channel. But I, I, you know, I don't know that, that we need, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. <laughs> I'm just going to take it out or I'm just, you know, I'm going to comment it out. I mean, I did find it though. That's what I was looking for, to see if it actually found this bookworm security, all right? If you want to give it a shot um, and do so over time, and let me know in the comments if you actually find something that, uh, that, it, that it returns as an update package. That would be really helpful. All right, guys. Um, let me control S, control Q, and let's go ahead and update again and that's it okay thanks for watching and again appreciate all of you that have subscribed in the last week and for those of you even before that <laughs> thanks again bye